video today we'll be discussing about the adaptations for the self pollination or we'll be discussing about the conditions which are actually favoring the autogamy or the self pollination now very first you must know that what is self pollination it is the transfer of the pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the same flower okay now there are three essential conditions which will favor the self pollination the very first is known as the monocliny monocliny means what the bisexuality that is flower should be having both male and female reproductive parts in it when a flower is having both male and female reproductive parts in it so it is called as a bisexual flower and definitely in a bisexual flower the self pollination will be favored why because the anther and the stigma are very close to each other and the pollen grains released by the anther will be easily dusted on the stigma that's why bisexual flower favors self pollination now the second one is known as the homogamy what is homogamy when both male and female reproductive parts of a bisexual flower mature at the same time then this is called as the homogamy homogamy also favors self pollination now think of that in a bisexual flower the male and the female reproductive organs are maturing at different time then in that case instead of self pollination cross pollination will occur so it is quite necessary for the self pollination that both the male and the female reproductive parts of the flower must mature at the same time that is called as homogamy okay so homogamy favors self pollination in mirabilis homogamy can be seen and if the male and the female reproductive parts in a bisexual flower have different maturity period then it is not known as homogamy it will be called as dicogamy and in dicogamy instead of self pollination cross pollination will occur okay now the third one this third adaptation is very very important now cleistogamy very first you must know that cleistogamous flowers show cleistogamy but what are cleistogamous flower and in contrast you must also know that what are chasmogamous flowers okay so in some plants bisexual flowers are formed which never open throughout their life means what i want to say a flower which never open in its lifetime a bisexual flower which never open in its lifetime means in that bisexual flower the reproductive organs that is the male and the female reproductive parts are not exposed at all such a flower is called as a cleistogamous flower and in contrast to this what is a chasmogamous flower a chasmogamous flower is a flower which open and expose its sex organ outside is called as a chasmogamous flower so in that shell we can say a cleistogamous flower is a bisexual flower which never open in its life time and its sex organs are hid are hidden while in the case of the chasmogamous flower the flower is open and the reproductive organs are exposed okay now the best examples of the cleistogamy is the pomelina viola and oxalis in these three categories the cleistogamous flowers are found now self pollination is a rule in cleistogamous flower in a cleistogamous flower what happens self pollination is a rule in it cross pollination doesn't occur why because the flower is not opening so any agent cannot transfer the pollen grain in it that's why self pollination is a rule in a cleistogamous flower now i am representing here a example of comelina in comelina plant the same plant in comelina what happens on same plant both cleistogamous and chasmogamous flowers are found both cleistogamous and chasmogamous flowers are found how it's possible so i have made the diagram here chasmogamous flowers in pomelina are aerial and cleistogamous flowers are underground they are below the ground now see here aerial flowers in pomelina are chasmogamous chasmogamous means what they will be opened 
so they are brightly colored and in them cross pollination occur with the help of the insects okay because they are brightly colored and insect will be attracted towards them whereas the underground flowers which are present on the rhizos ry uh, that is known as the rhizome are cleistogamous and they are dull in color if they are dull in color so they will not be pollinated by the insect because they are under the ground so they will be self pollinated so what i want to say that in a single plant comelina cassiopeia's flowers are present which are aerial above the ground and there are few flowers which are under the ground that are cleistogamous flowers which are dull in color and which never open and therefore they will show self pollination while they are brightly colored they are pollinated by the insects and they will show the cross pollination okay and at last you must know that which are the crops which are self pollinated so pea potato groundnut barley tobacco tomato all these are self pollinated crops in which the self pollination occur so dear student this was the video which is based on the essential conditions which are favoring the autogamy thanks a lot for watching if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take